I know what is going on out there. I know some of the insults I've received. I, I do understand all those things. Number one, I'm not the kind of person who runs away from my mistakes. It's not a time that I usually do my uh, my lives. I'd actually, if you noticed, uh, for those of you who follow me, I had taken a break uh, from social media, from the uh, lives and all that. All right, guys, this will not take long, but allow me just to to say one or two things. Um, number one, I know maybe some of you have uh, uh, come in here to look for Mushene. Uh, but I want to disappoint a few people here. I want to disappoint a few people here that I never, ever, ever, ever uh, respond to some things. But I will say one or two things today. Allow me. Now, I know, and, and uh, I'm just one gentleman who doesn't like beating around the bush. Uh, uh, I know what is going on out there. I know some of the insults I've received. I, I do understand all those things. Um, I, I know all those things, but I want to say it here and now because I've received very many calls, many, many, many calls. I've received very many calls, uh, and 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 um, so just to help it, I will tell you, I do not want. I never ever use my platform, for lack of a better word. I never use my platforms to fight. I don't use my platforms to excite the rumor mill, as it were. I, I don't use my platforms to do that. But I just want to speak to somebody here today. Uh, first and foremost is thank you to people who have been sending me messages and asking me if I'm okay. And some who have been, um, uh, the, the, the goodwill messages and the insults, thank, thanks to all of them. Uh, because in every season, you take the good and the bad and learn from them. Now, I owe it to the people that honor me, love me, respect me, to tell you guys that, yes, it is a dark season for me right now. You know, and I did a Facebook Live and I, and I read somebody sending me a message and says, F you, I wish you would die, you understand? And, and then there's somebody else who would leave a voice note of prayer. You understand what I'm saying? So. I just want you to understand my heart, my heart. Number one, I'm not the kind of person who runs away from my mistakes. I'm not the kind of person who, again, uses social media to fight people. I don't do that. I use all my seasons, the good, the bad, and the ugly, to derive some lessons. And I want to say this to somebody. Never ever waste your season of pain, season of darkness. Like for me right now, this is my season of darkness. This could be my season of pain. This could be my season of rejection in other quarters. This could be my season of also understanding the love during dark seasons. You understand what I'm saying? So I want you to know, whatever you go through, I'm a public figure, maybe my seasons will be public. Some of you go through the same seasons, but in private. All right? You go through the same seasons, but in private. But there's one thing I want to teach you. Whatever season you're going through, but let me use a dark season for now, like mine is a dark season, is never ever waste a dark season, never waste a painful season, never ever ever waste a season of rejection, a season of loneliness, a season of, of, of God, why now? Never ever waste those seasons. Everything you go through, you must find a lesson. Every time you go through something, you must understand that there is the light and there are some things you need to learn. You need to uh, correct some things. And number two, uh, you need to correct some things. Number two, you need to be aware that there are people who genuinely love you. I'll make these statements. There are people who will never stop loving you no matter what. But on the other hand, there are people who will never start loving you no matter what. So find that, put it in your head, and find rest. Now, 
I, I, I read a message to my people and, and somebody says, F you, to, to my Facebook, F you. And F you does not mean there's food upstairs. F you, I wish you death. F you, you understand? And then you ask yourself in that season, um, how do you handle that? All right, and I'll tell you this, every time you go through a dark season, every time you go through a dark season, take a step back. Never go fighting, please. Hear me and hear me good. And I've said this before, I never miss to teach people based on the lessons I'm going through. You understand? And, and I'm going through my season right now. And you'll be insulted by people. You'll be loved by other people. Now, what do you like? What do you correct? And what decisions do you make? You know, for example, if somebody says, F you, I wish you death. And then somebody else sends you a prayer. What do you learn in that season that there's a few and there's a word of encouragement? Then, for me, what have I learned? What have I picked from there? I have picked that true. There are people who will forever love you. And there are people who will never love you. So, in that season, and, and as I said this, many of you, maybe those who are not public figures, is, listen to me, you go through the same, but privately. But the principles of going through the issues are the same. Number one, take a step back. Take a step back. Think, pray, find yourself. You understand? Take a step back. First, you deal with the shock. Whew. And then, come down, come down. Breathe in, breathe out. All right? Ask God, what do I need to do in this season? One thing I have known that God is doing in my life in this season, and I'll be very honest with you guys, and I'll speak from my heart, is that I'm entering a new season in God. Not entering, I already am in that new season. And, and don't ever use a season and waste it. I'm entering my season. I will not lose focus. Hear me and hear me good. I will not lose focus. In fact, now, I intend now to continue preaching the gospel. I want to tell the people, the mentees who have called me, that yes, I will continue mentoring you. Do not be worried. I will continue mentoring, preaching, doing my leadership trainings, and all those things. I'm not a man who shies away from my mistakes. Thank you to the prayers of encouragement, to the words of encouragement, and, and also to the few and very few abuses on my inbox. The Lord bless you. He just may be teaching me I think one abused me until I insulted me. I, I, um, I had to look for a dictionary. I almost, I didn't look, but I almost looked for a dictionary. You know? Uh, to, to, to like, why? What is this? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? But may God, if you're going through any season right now, may God help you go through that season. If you're going through a dark season right now, may you learn from that season. If you're going through a season of pain, may you also take the lessons of that season of pain. If you're going through a season because of the mistakes you did, may you also learn and correct some of those, uh, uh, correct what you need to correct. And may you always glorify God through the dark season, through every season. If you're going through some crazy pain, let me tell you, this is my dark season. This is my dark season. And, and this, tomorrow may be your dark season. But remember, remember, when you get through a shocker, when you get through such things, don't react immediately. Take a step back, breathe in, seek God. And then look for the people who are your voice of reason. You understand what I'm saying? And as I finish, never waste a season of pain. Never waste a season of mistakes. Never waste a season of isolation. Always pick up the lessons because that is what will carry you for your next level.